Hello Taurus, welcome back. This is your extended reading using my Shadowscapes Tarot. Let's first explore your love, romance, relationships. I love that you've got double aces here. This could potentially mean new love for a lot of you if you are looking for new opportunities in love. Let's have a look and see six cards for the sign of Taurus and what this could mean for you in love. Ten of Pentacles is here, followed by the Empress, the Queen of Cups. Wow, Queen of Cups with the King of Cups. This is a faded relationship. The two of you could be very compatible together. The Death card, the Seven of Cups, and the Emperor. Okay, let's first point out that Ace of, that beautiful Ace of Wands. You do have the Empress here with the Emperor. You've got the King of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Need I say more, Taurus? There's a very strong emphasis on your relationships. Okay, there might be a choice some of you need to make in a relationship because I'm seeing two different relationships here, Taurus. I'm not sure if this is friendships or if this is love relationships, but for some of you it could be with this water sign here. You do have the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Pisces energy, Scorpio with the Death card here as well. But you also have the Ace of Wands, the Emperor and the Empress. Okay, these are very powerful relationships. Either you're, if you're already involved in a relationship with someone and you're very happy, you're not looking for anything more, you might just be revisiting in your mind. Remember mentality in the middle column. You might be revisiting a significant relationship from your past. I'm not sure if this person will reach out to you if you'll hear something about them. But for some reason, I see you juggling or thinking about two very distinct, yet or both very, very important relationships around you in the month of April. Let's go back to that beautiful Ace of Pentacles though. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. This is the family card of creating a legacy. For some of you, you might be welcoming in birth because you've got the death card and with death comes birth. It comes renewal of life. And the fact that it's coupled up with a couple of Aces, some of you could be expecting twins or additions to the family here because I'm seeing expansion to the family unit. Uh, some of you might be meeting someone that already has two children. Um, the, the notion of double whammy is coming up next to this person here, but I like what this represents. There's a lot of, there's a solid future. Okay. Some of you are planning a future. There's the planning happening here with the beautiful seven of cups with someone you're involved in now could be towards the middle of the month. You might be really going through what the both of you want and how you're going to press forward, how you're going to move, um, move forward in your relationships. Um, but I think it's a very auspicious time for relationships in the month of April. Uh, I absolutely do. I think you've got a lot to look forward to in the sense where aces of victory and aces are things that are heaven sent to us. And this could show rebirth in a relationship. Absolutely. Some of you that were connected with someone, either you were married to them or you had a relationship with them, they're coming back in. Your past is beckoning here. So for some reason, you're either revisiting this, the memories of this relationship of this person you might bump into them or you may even hear from them whether or not you're already in a relationship or in a marriage they will possibly reach out here to you the past comes lurking with the death card here could be a scorpio you've got pisces down here um aries possibly someone under one of these signs here taurus but they're back they're back okay and they're wanting an, another chance with you so some of you are giving a second um a relationship that has passed a second go um, you're going to pick things up again is what I'm seeing here. And this time around, it's going to be bigger and better than ever before. Um, Taurus, look at that. The beautiful Empress with the Emperor here. Extremely compatible couple. This time around, they do things differently. Wow, this is powerful for a lot of you. The Empress points to change as well by the butterflies metamorphosis coming out of your shell um, again, I think it might have something to do with the communication, some sort of conversation that you'll have in the month. Could be about a past relationship. Maybe that's why there's so much growth happening because you're expressing how you felt in a previous relationship, for example, Taurus, or your significant other is expressing how they feel. And suddenly it's going to make you look at them differently here. So there's a shift in the dynamic that's taking place. What I love with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, there's definitely a lot of love going on. A lot of you are falling in love in April. Um, either you're falling in love, you know, or infatuation with someone here with the Empress. I feel like it's a very um, Venus energy and that's all about luxurious things. It's sensual, it's creative, it's coming together with someone we feel very safe with. 
Definitely a lot of emphasis on rom uh, romance and being spoiled and feeling spoiled is what I'm seeing here. So for a lot of you, you will be indulging in a very beautiful way. Um, some of you are healing from the past, okay? So you might not necessarily be picking up a relationship from your past, but you're healing with it. The reason I say that is because the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups has a very healing energy. You're coming to terms with the Queen of Cups. You can see her looking to the death card here, but she's she's not fearing it. You're not fearing the past. You're not feeling you're not fearing the past prejudice. You're not fearing it. In fact, you're welcoming it in. Welcoming the past or welcoming past insecurities or past pains because you're wanting to heal, uh, Taurus. So you're welcoming in and you're going to make the best out of this situation that you can, Taurus, and you're known for this. And I feel like the fact that you're coming up, whether you're male or female, I, I just I want to point this out because it's sitting right in the middle here. And this is all merging with this, okay? That's going to a pivotal point. And what's in the middle is that beautiful victory, the Ace of Swords. You will heal from this, Taurus. You will come to terms with whatever it is that's happened to you and your love or romance in April because you're going to face it head on. Okay, and it could definitely, I feel it's around the past or it's things that were mysterious that are coming to light. Things that were possibly hidden because the hermit is shies away from things. Um, insecurities or something that was hidden within you and then suddenly you feel you're in a position to come forward and openly express um, or face this head on there's going to be change in relationships that's going to happen but maybe it's for the better um, maybe it's the death of this self-sabotaging energy because it's sitting on top of the mental connection here if you're not getting on with someone or you're clashing too much or your goals aren't aligning I feel like you're coming into a period where you're going to be assessing your goals trying to reach the same point as each other, trying to get on the same frequency as each other is what I'm seeing with the beautiful death card paired with the seven of cups and then the emperor. Can be somewhat scattered energy if you are dealing with a water sign. Um, I feel as though a water sign could display fickleness, but towards the end of the month, you are going to reach some sort of conclusion with them because you're creating, you're working towards that same goal that you have here. You're both doing it, although you may do things differently, you're both coming together. Very much a strong emphasis on relationships here. Um, the Empress and the Emperor are, are driven by impulse and desire. I feel like this might be you or someone you're dealing with. You're desiring something here, Taurus, or they're desiring something from you, and you're going to have to try and meet them halfway. Could be a bit of compromise, okay? Could be something that but I feel like ultimately you'll win your desire because I feel like you'll leave that impression. You'll have that last word. You'll really get into, you know, their head here and they'll be thinking about it. Okay. Cause you got, you have the emperor, which is quite an intimidating energy. He confronts us with the card here. It's something he's been thinking about. He's accompanied by stubbornness as indicated by this, this, this circular stone that's adorned with what looks like grotesques and animals and images. But, um, what I'm seeing here is that stubbornness is coming into place here so your stubborn side is coming out you're putting your foot down you're certifying something um or asserting it and it's actually it's going to stick um it's going to reach this person on an emotional level okay unfortunately some of you are ending a relationship this month but also you're finding someone brand spanking new taurus don't fret because even if you're leaving behind a relationship with the death card here, you're putting a stop to a relationship or you're taking time away from a relationship, there will be another person entering your life extremely quickly, someone that can genuinely fulfill you and make you happy. So don't close yourself off to the opportunities that lay ahead for you in April in regards to love. Let's have a look at career, business, finance, anything we should know. Six of Pentacles has come up. The Hierophant. Okay, what's a Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles is a, a time of giving or a time of receiving. It's really a card of trying to be helpful or someone trying to help you. Um, I'm seeing that with finances here, there could be an inundation of finances or um, generosity coming forward here. So if this is new job opportunities, for example, connected to these beautiful aces, I feel as though they may come with a very lucrative um, offer of money. Um, it can be something that you'll be very pleased with because of that energy of feeling really complacent, appreciating something here. You're holding it very delicately in your hands because you appreciate the benefits or the money that's coming in with career with the Six of Pentacles. Um, 
I am seeing this is for you though because it's facing the Hierophant. So there is some sort of generosity or giving or offer that's being made to you. And be careful because it seems liquid form, you know, it's it can slip through your fingers. So again, I'm going to say to you, be very alert about the opportunities you have. The Wheel of Fortune is saying that there's destined changing changes in your career as well. But to the Hierophant here, this is you using your wisdom, your judgment, your sense of knowledge, your discretion to either forego these opportunities, to take these opportunities, to make something of them with the Hierophant energy. This is reverence, respect, notoriety, um, being in the public eye, being known for something here. There is a decision you're going to have to make with the Two of Swords. It's going to trouble you and a lot of contemplation will be needed, Taurus. I see you thinking, using your wisdom, um, consoling uh using outside sources maybe it's the virgo maybe it's the pisces that you'll be consulting with maybe it's even a fellow taurian that you'll be communicating with because you want this person to help move you in the right direction um it's also a card of having specialized knowledge or specialized skills so the page of pentacles has come up twice Possibly two income streams, so another income stream that may be added um, around the month of April for you. Now, be careful because you might struggle juggling the two. Both can bring you a lot of money, a lot of opportunity, a lot of prominence. Okay, however, with the two of swords here, the two pages and the two aces, this is just, it's, all, it's almost like it's all too hot to handle is what I'm seeing here, Taurus. An opportunity you've had your eye on before will come back to you is what I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles. You've observed this opportunity before or you've been eyeing this off for quite some time. It could be a product, it could be a service, um, it could be financial means. Um, vigilance on finances is needed during this month, okay? You're tinkering, you could be dabbling in something, stocks, you could be dabbling in, you know... Be careful of gossip here as well around the workplace. You know, the hermit is here. So it's someone that may come to you for problems with their problems or may come to you so you can help them. Um, I'm seeing that you're going to have to be reviewing something or someone will want you to review their work. Okay, it could be performance, it could be budgets, but budgets I think will be mentioned in the workplace for some reason. There's something about expenses or overheads or budgets that, that comes to mind. Back to that Two of Swords, this is a bit of a barrier or a block. So anything that you've had a barrier or block to is finally going to be, you, you're going to see profits, okay? So if there's been blockages in something, you're crowned with that victory here. Again, don't say, yourself, don't say no to certain opportunities, new employers, um, new methods of doing things. I know you could be very stubborn and set in your ways. You're very deeply rooted in your ways. But change can be a good thing sometimes, Taurus, with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, it can, it comes, it takes full circle. And maybe it's April is the beginning where you're really tinkering with things. It's the magician energy. Um, a lot of you might add a second income stream. I'm seeing a creative pursuit or talent. You're dabbling with it here with the magician. You're trying to make things happen. And I do believe the fact that it's sitting next to the beautiful Wheel of Fortune can point to something that takes off for you extremely quickly. Um, possibly you've said no, no to this before. Maybe you haven't had the time, the resources, the energy to commit to it. Um, maybe you've done the hard yards here now and it's finally to get this off the ground here. You're holding it up. Or it's almost like you're presenting or, or showing someone this offer here, as is the magician. So it could be you working with an Aries here. You've got a Taurus. Um, but you're presenting an idea or pitching an idea is what I'm seeing in, in April. Um, but the beautiful Wheel of Fortune is here. This is an upward cycle. Some of you are receiving increased pay or there's a major change or opportunity that's going to be. It's a very destined month for you, not only in relationships, Taurus, but work for your children, um, for lovers. There's a lot of change happening around you, positive change. Um, it's meant for you. It's all destined. Wow, you've got two wheels here. Isn't that interesting? That's very peculiar, but very good at the same time. <clears throat> So upward cycles could mean having that uncomfortable conversation to get more pay. Finally saying yes to an opportunity you said no to before. Dabbling in something here, getting things off the ground, collecting resources, becoming prominent. You're on a stage here, as is the Hierophant. So there's could be up to two opportunities for you to be 
presenting to present yourself, sell yourself, your skills, your attributes, or possibly land something very, very auspicious here as indicated by the Wheel of Fortune. I will leave it at that though, Taurus. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely April and we'll chat soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.